Indigo Legacy, Black Lux, tells the story of many stories. We talk about African Americans and their success and achievements. People who've made a difference, people who have been significant, not only to Chicago, but really into the world. Some of our stories are the first, some of our stories are the last. As we look back and I look at 1500 stories, it's like, okay, what do we do with this? These are very significant stories. They do tell a history. It's a living history. You know, newspapers are the first blush of history. And indeed in this book, that's what you will see is the first blush and sometimes maybe even the last blush. Our story on Jennifer Hudson is just a, just a wonderful, wonderful, uh, kind of a dream story really. So when she got that call to audition for Dream Girls, she did not know how to act. Ali wanted to fight in Chicago, and that would have been fun. It would have been just wonderful to run Ali for it. anything. Anything he wanted to run for, it would have been great because he would have won. Ali was a Pied Piper, and that had some backroom secret talk on why Ali should not fight in the city of Chicago. I saw a young senator who had written a book he began to call and say, so when are you going to do your story? What's the story? And I was like, I'm not going to write about the book, Barack. And the way I like to think of it now, in retrospect, is we presented Barack Obama to the world. And the rest is history. When you're making history, you're not conscious that you're making history. You're doing what you do in your time frame. But after it's done and you've made the history, then you context it. You will not see these pictures and you will not hear these stories anywhere. This is the Indigo legacy. These are the stories, the cover stories. It's an authentic view. You will get insights. You will get inspired. You will become motivated uh, from hearing the success stories, the achievements, uh, the lives actually, the lives of, of, of some of the people who have done magnificent things, who've been very significant. Every library ought to have it, but I think every home ought to have it. And it ought to be on your coffee table because it's a living history. It's a contemporary history of black Chicago.